So let's get into styling with the styling range. Um, it's the last element that I'll, I'll be taking you through. So we're really traveling really well through Signature. Um, so Hydrate Detangling Mist. This is my favorite. You, this is really good as a cutting, um, like a cutting spray. I use it for a cutting spray. Now the beauty about this Zero Hold, It's got a really floral, it's got a really beautiful fragrance. This is probably why I like using it. Also to incredibly detangling, um, great for um, your younger clients. As I said, this is something that needs to live on your workstation. Um, it's really good for just re rehydrating hair. As I said, it's got a really beautiful fragrance that isn't overpowering, but it lasts as well. So it's got that really nice uh, like, like uh, floral note. Um, that the clients then go, oh, wow, what are you putting on my hair? Um, so it's got that beautiful fragrance, amazing for detangling hair. So, and also too, um, it helps condition and restores moisture balance. So a perfect product, you could use this on everyone. As I said before, um, this is really good for um, cutting. So I kind of, if the hair's a little bit dry, just spray it down. Um, it works really, really well. Shine mist. So I'm moving from the smallest or the least amount of hold to maximum hold. So um, I'll just share that with you as we move through the slides with styling. So again, shine mist. This is a finishing product. It's uh, not an oil-based shine because the reason I say that is quite often oil-based shines, if you apply too much, the hair gets oily and then almost you have to restyle the hair. This is perfect as in shine. I'm sure you can see the shine there. Um, again, really beautiful fragrances each of the fragrances is slightly different there's a slightly different note with each of the fragrances but really beautiful shine really good for coarse hair or when you've got a, a bob or that really laminated like smooth shine it's amazing for that one tip with this also too if you're um got hair and you're flat eyeing just try a little bit of shine mist and then flat iron it just gives the hair an ultimate shine it's really really great um so shine mist works really really well as in a real glossifier so it's almost like um a lip gloss to finish off with or a light powder so so consider it as a, a shine just to to elevate the whole look of the client uh, client style, I should say. Lux Finishing Cream, one of my favorites. So a little bit of an unusual product. It's a cream, um, hold factor of two, so a little bit of hold. I tend to use this on hair that you may have hot tooled and you need to break the curl movement up, but you're a bit worried if I use a cream or a lotion, it's going to collapse the hairstyle. This won't. This will actually hold the style and help individualize the curl formation. So it's really good to modernize a hairstyle or when you've done a hairstyle and you think, oh, it looks a bit kind of done. It's really good to break it up. This is one of my favorites is styling. I'm a bit of a style master and definitely one of my go-tos. So Lux Finishing Cream. Sheer Styling Glaze, um, a little bit more of a stronger hold factor. Really nice to be uh, combined with different um, products as well. So it is like a glaze, wet or dry. It's really good for, for slicking hair back or ponytails. Thermal Shield. Now this will have a heat protector of 220 degrees perfect on dry hair with hot tools this is exactly where thermal shield works amazingly well so if you're uh, flat ironing and you want it straight or if you're tonguing or wave wanding this is the product that you use to protect the hair to 220 degrees but also to the beauty about this is it's got a little bit of hold um it's got quite i love the fragrance it's um it's powdery it's powdery but it, without it kind of then um like you don't, there's no perfume, it just moves. So um, the beauty about this is spray it on, just be mindful, not too much. When you style, it'll be a bit crunchy, so don't worry about that, it brushes out. That's the hold factor and that's the heat protector working. Really, this is your must. If you're hot, hot tooling, you must use this. This is your go-to. And also it's got, got a little bit of hold in it as well. Um, Ultimate Potion, now I'm not going to say they're all my favourites because you'll be thinking that's all I say through this um, online, uh, but this is one of my favourites. The reason I like this is it's got a very low hold factor, so it's really good for clients that say, I don't like anything in my hair, and you think, well, I'm going to put something anyway. Um, so it does have a little bit of hold, and it's almost like a toner, like as in not hair toner, but skin toner. It blends products. So if you want to dilute a product, um, Ultimate Potion. I actually use this with our mousse. So I'll, and I'll show you a chart a little bit later on. There's a bit of a styling guide that I've got later on um, that I've kind of created and I share this with everyone. Um, so half, half. 
This is like sometimes mousse can be a bit too crunchy. Um, so just to dilute it, um, just a bit of ultimate potion, just add a little bit in. It's like a, it's almost like a liquid gel. Um, I'm not going to do it because then I've got nowhere to actually get it off and I need to show you some more products before we move through. Ultimate potion, definitely, definitely try. Ult um, ultimate potion and options, I'm jumping to my cocktailing chart. Um, they're really good together. So you can see that ultimate potion is really one of those usable, flexible products um, you can use on all hair. Dry zone uh, spray wax. This is really good for featurizing hair. It gives the hair a bit of a gloss, very light hold factor of four. Um, give this a good shake though. Um, if you don't, it comes out the wax needs to just distribute better or not better, but evenly, I should say. Um, if you don't shake it, I mean, it's okay. It still works. It's just that you'll get a little bit more of an uneven um, application of the product. I use this on where you've got really big volume. You know, when you've got clients and you've styled it, you think, oh my God, it's just too big and you need to control it. Just a light spray of dry zone and it helps control the hair. And then obviously on shorter hair to give that waxy styled effect. Hold factor of four, really beautiful product to work with. You can see there it says team, um, Tames, Freeze and Flyaways. Definitely does that. So it's really good. Um, and also too good for styling. It's also to a master manipulator. So what that means is that it will help you mold hair that quite often if you're trying to control that coarser textured hair, dry zone's really good for that. Um, option styling lotion is exactly that. It's a fairly mid-range styling lotion, uh, a little bit more traditional. Um, you know, it's really like, again, options, as I said, is really good mixed in with um, ultimate potion. I tend to like the two. Um, I tend to apply this on quite dry hair. Um, it has that whole factor of five. If it's a bit too strong, then just use a bit of um, ultimate potion just to dilute it a bit. But again, this is really quite beautiful as a liquid styling product if you like working with those type of products. Sea salt mist. Oh, this is amazing. I think what I like about sea salt mist is the fragrance. It is really quite beautiful. Um, the fragrance has got a real coconut Um yeah, it's like coconut. It's like it's almost like a cocktail, like one of those Hawaiian cocktails. Um, it is a sea salt mist, but it it will leave the hair with lots of um, texture, but not dry and crunchy. Quite often, a lot of sea salt mists will leave the hair quite dry. Sea salt mist won't. Hold factor of five, beautiful. Um, and again, the fragrance is a bit of a winner. Root lift mist is exactly that. It's a root lift. Hold factor of six, amplifies, really good for fine hair. Uh, a beautiful product for that very, very fine textured hair. High volume, this one's a bit of an unusual one. Um, high volume can be used on wet as a styling product. I tend to use this as an alternative to hairspray. So quite often, if you don't like that hairsprayed feel, um, high volume is perfect for that. So it's got that, to me, it's got a bit of a dual function, either on hair to lift strands, root enhance styling fullness, um, or really um, basically as, as a hairspray itself. So a really nice product, not too heavy, um, but not too light. It sounds like a bit like an ad. Um, curls cream, perfect for featurizing curly hair. This is that even naturally curly hair. This is where curls cream works really well. Tames, frizz, all hair types, and it will give you a bit of hold. So it helps control the curl as well, wet or dry. This works well on either. So perfect for that curly hair. Um, like this one's a new one, a brand new one uh, to the family, dry texture spray. So this guy here. So it's really designed, it's almost like a dry hairspray. Uh, the hold factor in this one is pretty mid-range, so not too strong. It's got a hold factor of six. Uh, again, I actually have sprayed my hair with this before I jumped on on with you guys because uh, I needed a bit of a wash. So this is where it's really good. It gives you hold, but it also too helps um, just, it's a bit of a, it's a bit like a dry clean, but not as heavy. Um, it's got rice and a lower. So basically those particles attach to the hair surface, creating a micro space between the hair strands. So it gives you fullness and body, um, really beautiful natural ingredients is to use. Just give it a shake and uh, lay, uh, like basically spray it uh, on the hair um, within about 30 centimeters. So not too close, not too far. Really beautiful product. So really, I know a lot of you like that dry, it's almost like a dry, clean, uh, dry shampoo styling product. 
I'm a real fan of this product. Uh, can't really live without this on all my hairstyles, especially for longer hair if you've hot tooled it and you just want to botify it. So you want to give the hair a bit of volume, but you don't want to use hairspray. This is the product for you. So a beautiful product to work with. Volume foam is exactly that. So it's a foam. In other words, a mousse, big, big can. Uh, really good. I suppose that for a lot of clients, they get a mousse and this is exactly what it is. It's it's a mousse. It's very versatile. Um, it won't actually dry and become flaky. It's it's quite versatile in its application. I'm a bit of a fan of actually, as I said before, ultimate potion and the mousse together, kind of get the hold, but without too much hold. So, uh, however, for most of your clients, um, if they're going from wet to dry, volume mousse is amazing. So traditional, more in its application, um, hold factor of six, a nice product to work with. Um, Amped Up Styling Gel is exactly that. It's a gel, whole factor of eight. It's strong. It's good for slicking hair back, ponytails. A very, very strong gel. Uh, great guys like it, um, obviously, uh, for your female clients, if they're putting their hair into a ponytail, it's perfect for that. It will give you hold. The beauty about it also, too, if it goes into a ponytail, quite often gels, when they dry, they get a bit flaky. This won't. So Amped Up Styling Gel is perfect as in you won't get that flakiness. Done and dusted, this little guy, it's so cute. Uh, this is really good as a texturizer. Now, if you've not used um, like uh, basically a matte grip styling um, powder, it's like a powder on your fingers. The best way of using this, if you haven't used it before, rub it in your fingers, then apply it into your client's hair. Uh, perfect size to take home for the client or take out for the client. Uh, once you get a little bit more confident, just flip the client's head back, apply it in the back of the head at the roots and then move through. You'll be amazed how much volume you create. It will almost double in its size. So it's really good for uh, creating that full volume look. Uh, I know with our campaign shoot this year, so which you've seen some of the images, this was used more at the end because once this goes in, that's it. You're not going to get it out. So it will be big and it stays big. So that's where done and dusted is absolutely amazing. So that's why it's actually in such a small bottle because, you know, you don't want to use too much of it. It's almost like a salt shaker, um, but it's perfect. So it really gives you that silica that gives you the volume and it's a volumizer. It's an absolutely... Uh, Beautiful product. If you're a bit of a session stylist, you'll absolutely love this. It's a can't live without sort of product. Then fixation spray. So I've got the mini size here, but obviously it's found in all different sizes. Uh, a traditional hairspray, whole factor of eight. Uh, the beauty is that it's got um, cross styling co co polymers. So it means that if you brush this, you won't get the flakiness. It'll give you that beautiful hold, easy to come out, water soluble, a beautiful hairspray. It's not a lacquer. So the difference between a hairspray and a lacquer is hairspray you can brush out, lacquer you need to shampoo out. So that's the difference. So this has got a good you know, mid-level hold, a hold factor of eight. So we've got a bit of a cocktailing chart um, and or table, I should say. So this is what I like to share with you. Now, this is available. I know that a lot of you have actually asked us or even um, my styling team. We've got a bit of a styling team here at NAC. Um, and we get quite often asked, well, what are our go-to products when it comes to styling? And this is more from if you've got hair that's pretty much long and the clients come in, you're not going to shampoo it. Or if you are going to shampoo it, you, bl you blast dry the hair very, very quickly. Then you apply some styling products. You blow dry that in nicely. You, you, we call this prepping the hair. So you prep the hair before a hot tool. So if you're going to use a flat iron to either do a wave or if you're going to use a tong or a wand to create a curl or movement, um, you're going to need to prep the hair. So light body would be ultimate potion by itself. Light hold and support, half ultimate potion, half options, um, more medium hold, then you're going to use three quarters options, one quarter volume foam. So only a little bit of volume foam. Um, medium to firm support, half options and sculpturing lotion. And then um, if you want the probably, I should say maximum, but it gives you an idea by cocktailing how much hold. And this is more specifically for a lot of you, I know that for uh, formal or bridal or editorial work, your um, clients come in or the models come in with dry hair, you might uh, miss it with um, hydration spray. So um, 
a little bit of your hydrate detangling mix. It's just a little bit. Apply your product, blow dry that in. So the hair's already dry and then you hit it with a hot tool. So that's the idea of prepping. So this is where this cocktailing table works really well. Now, traditionally in salon, this is a good introduction to how, how weak or how strong you want your hold to be. So very popular, this table. Uh, we, once, we always share this with everyone and everyone really appreciates it. We've broken it also into which products give you a matte effect. So what a matte effect means is that beachy, flat, um, no reflection of light. So Lux Finishing Cream, Root Lift uh, Mist, and then High Volume, they would all be classified as a matte finish. Then for shine, dry zone, believe it or not, dry zone gives you a glossy finish. Um, so does obviously shine mist. And then for hold, you've got dry texture spray, done and dusted, and then fixation, fixation spray. So these are all holding products that we would recommend. So done and dusted will hold the hair. So will dry texture spray, so will fixation, depending on how you're using it. Obviously done and dusted, you're going to sprinkle that into the hair and then move the hair through. Texture spray, the same fixation. Probably the maximum in holds. We, we kind of needed to add it into this table because it does hold, but it would be our last choice because really if you've used done and dusted, prep the hair, dry textured, you've got a lot of hold. So you're building the hold as you move through. Now, if you want to know more, um, I'd recommend you do our photocopy uh, workshop, which is our styling workshop. So we actually take you through a little bit more of this info, how to quickly style, what hot tools to use, and then which products work really well. So if you're into a little bit more session styling, definitely reach out to us and, and like look at our photocopy workshop, see where it's happening in your location, um, and definitely inquire about that workshop if you want to know a little bit more. Um, we do have our product guide. I'll, I won't take you through each individual product, but this is also found in the manual. Uh, so Signature does have its own manual, and we can supply that to you. And it will show you which of the uh, products have what ingredients in them um, we've also got one for basically the treatments and hydration um, and then styling and finishing so that comes to the end of creating beautiful hair care for everyone i think uh, signature definitely uh, lives into that that statement you can actually offer every possible styling need for your client within the whole signature range um, so make sure that you do complete the quiz. If you would like to actually receive your e-diploma uh, certificate, make sure that you do uh, complete the quiz and congratulations. And I'd like to thank you for participating online. It's been my absolute pleasure to take you through this beautiful range of products. And um, I look forward to seeing you at one of our other online sessions. Thank you.